Okay, so now let's do an FE type question for environmental engineering and we're going to focus on the specification for fundamental principles and specifically reactors. So we'll do this example together and we know this is going to be on the relatively easy side for reactors. So make sure you know how to do these to get those easy questions on the FE correct. So for this one, we're told a continuous plug flow reactor is to be designed to treat an influent stream containing 250 milligram per liter of acidic acid at a flow rate of 300 liters per minute. Removal is achieved through a first order reaction with a rate constant of 0 0.0125 per minute. The hydraulic residence time in hours to achieve 90% remove of acidic acid is most nearly what? So let's begin writing what we are given. And we know some terms do not have variables attached to them, right? So we know that the influent stream contains 250 milligram per liter of acidic acid. So that's the influent, what comes in. And it comes in into a reactor. So it's a continuous plug flow reactor. So you have to be careful with the keyword continuous plug flow. So it's a plug flow reactor. So it's going to be the long one, right? The one that's like a pipe. So if I draw that, so if I draw that in 3D, it might look something in perspective. It looks something like that. So this is essentially what we're looking at. And we know we have something that comes in, and that's the influent that we're told, right? So that influent concentration is 250, 250 milligram per liter. And the outflow here at the output, effluent, we call that the effluent, I'll call it out, which is the effluent. And we actually do not have that, right? We do not have that given. So we have an inflow and then an outflow through the plug flow reactor. So we know for a plug flow reactor, something that looks like this, it's like maybe a pipe or a section of a stream. We have no longitudinal mixing. So you have no mixing along the length of the plug flow reactor. You do have some mixing along the radio direction though. But just note, you have no mixing just in case you get a conceptual question. For plug flow, you have no mixing along the longitudinal length of the reactor. So we know we have that and we took care of the 250, right? 250 of acidic acid is what comes in. And the flow rate here, Q, I'll use Q for the flow, is going to equal to 300 liter per minute. So we're given that. Removal is achieved through a first order. So that's important. First order removal and we know for that first order removal we have a rate constant of this so what variable do we give the rate constant it's going to be the k right lowercase k that's the rate constant of 0 0.0125 per minute that's how you write it so that's the k value and the hydraulic residence time in hours is what we want to find to achieve 90 percent removal so we want to find the hydraulic resonance time and we know the hydraulic resonance time is denoted as theta or you can use T but it's very common that you see theta especially for a reactor type example and that's what we want to find in hours. The de detention time or hydraulic resonance time same thing that's what we want to find and that's the time to achieve 90% removal of acidic acid so we want to achieve and reduce the in the influent by 90 percent right we want to reduce that by 90 percent so the way you solve this question is by just using your fe handbook and using the table specifically on page 324 and here what we're going to say is we know for steady state reactors they derive all the equations for us so for steady state, where you have no change in mass per time, no change in mass per time, you it's zero. They derived the equations for us in the FE handbook on page 324 in the new FE handbook. 
So what we're going to use is the top tables on that page and we're going to go to first order and we're going to go to the ideal plug flow. And we're going to just use that equation for the equation for the mean retention times. That's still the resonance time. Just know retention time, detention time, hydraulic resonance time. They all essentially mean the same thing. So that's our theta value and we'll use that equation. So if I denote the equation, let me write it, theta equals to ln of c naught ct divided by the k value. So we actually know what we're finding, the theta, that's the unknown, the hydraulic resonance time, c naught is going to be always your influent concentration. And that's actually defined in the tables as well. It says initial concentration or influent concentration. So let's give that the variable here, right? C naught. CT is going to be your final condition or effluent concentration. And that's what comes out of the plug flow system, of the plug, plug flow reactor. That's the CT, right? So we know C naught is going to be 250. What is going to be CT, right? What's going to be CT? CT is the effluent, and how do we get that? We know we need 90% removal. So all you do is take 90% of 250. So if I do that in the calculator, I do 250 times 0 0.90, you get 225. But that is not how much we reduce, right? Then you have to take 250 minus 225, and you get that amount you actually have at the end, right? Which is just 25. And it makes sense logically, you want to reduce something by 90, which is a very high number, you should have like a very small number at the effluent. But also you can specifically use the removal efficiency equation. So I'll do that here. This removal efficiency equation is actually provided under in incineration section on page 317. All you do is replace your concentrations by C0 and CT. So removal efficiency let me write that removal efficiency or removal percent removal efficiency same thing we take c naught our initial influent concentration minus ct the effluent concentration what we get out divided by c naught times 100 percent so we know we want 90 percent removal 90 percent you put your c naught here so our c naught is going to be 250 250 milligram per liter minus CT this is the effluent concentration which we will find so we need that to use the equation right above for the hydraulic resonance time this is 250 down here times 100 percent then all you do is solve for CT and you'll get the answer so CT which is the effluent concentration it should be 25 milligram per liter so that's 25 and that's what we put here we have c naught right we have k k is going to be first order reaction constant and then we solve for theta so solving for theta that equals to the ln of the top values always c naught 250 milligram per liter divided by the bottom value of 25 milligram per liter all of that is divided by the k value right and the k value is gonna be 0 0.0125 per minute 0 0.0125 per minute but we have to be careful here so you could solve this thing and you're get a, an output of what these cancel you get an output of minutes right but what I usually do is convert the minutes in the equation and just plug it in as a whole equation in the calculator. So we need to convert the minutes to what units? To hours, right? Because we want the hydraulic resonance time in hours. Let's convert that. So we have minutes here. We have to have minutes here. Diagonal has to be minutes. So how many minutes are in an hour? 60 minutes in one hour. So these cancel. So now I should get hours, right? These cancel and we only get the units of hours. So solving for the hydraulic residence time, you get 3.07 hours. 
that's the amount of time we need in the plug flow reactor or piper system to achieve 90% removal to achieve 90% removal of acidic acid so that should be C and one extra note I want to say here is usually your sizing a lot of the times they may ask you to just size stuff so let's find the volume so how do we get the volume that we need to achieve 90% removal of acidic acid how can we relate volume to the residence time we know we can also include the flow rate right so we know that V the volume well I'll use volume with a dash like that we usually see V as velocity because it might be confusing Q equals a V right this is velocity but you just have to know that difference right so the volume equals to what we take Q times the time the residence time so solving for that the volume equals what's Q in this case we know Q is going to be the 300 liters per minute. So that's the flow rate. Then you multiply by the time. And we know the time, the residence time is actually in hours here, right? With what we found. So let me just cancel the minutes and to have hours. So there's 60 minutes in one hour cancel these then we multiply by the residence time of 3.07 hours so doing that we get the these cancel we only get liters which is a volume right we get liters as a volume so doing that you do 300 times 60 times 3.07 you get about 50 5260 liters and if I wanted this in meter cubed what do you do how do you go from liter to meter cubed we know there's a thousand liters in one cubic meter these cancel so you just take that value and divide by a thousand so you get five five point two six cubic meter and that's the volume we need to achieve 90% removal of acidic acid. One last thing is we know the volume that for, let's say, a pipe, it has a cross-section, right? It has a cross-sectional area here. It has a cross-sectional area. What's the volume of a pipe? The volume is going to equal to the area times the length, right? going to be times the length times the length so we have the volume and if they give you the area if they tell you maybe it's a it has a diameter of uh, 20 meter or 20 millimeter you can get the area by doing pi d squared pi d squared over 4 you can get the area if they give you the diameter then you can possibly solve for the length, right? Just know you can go from the volume and determine the area you need or the length you need. Sometimes they may ask you what length do you need uh, to size this system, right? To size this plug flow reactor. And that's just a note, but I hope this helped. Thank you.